It's a fun fact about me, I actually eat pizza every day. I really love pizza. You can ask anybody I know. What's Eric's favorite food? Pizza. 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 Yeah, I love it. And you might even remember about a year ago when I made my own pizza restaurant called Sweet Pablo's. Sweet Pablo's is the name that I got from a random online rapper named Generator. At Sweet Pablo's we sold frozen microwave pizzas on Uber Eats and marketed it as a high-end pizzeria. Now I released that video about a year ago and immediately within probably, I don't know, two days, I was lifetime banned from ever selling anything on Uber Eats again. What did I learn from that experience? That uh, Sweet Pablo's was a bad idea? No, I learned if I ever wanted to reopen Sweet Pablo's, I would need to deliver it myself rather than relying on Uber Eats. Ah, dude, why is my teleporter so much slower than yours, bro? I don't know. I mean, you edit these videos, dude. I don't know. I was just saying how if we wanted to reopen Sweet Pablo's, we need to do it different. Yeah, we definitely need a competitive advantage for sure. And you guys know if I'm going to do something, I want to do it big. Really, really big. The biggest. So the plan is simple. Make the world's largest pizza. Deliver the world's largest pizza. Uh, Eric, I got a question, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're What's making up? a pretty big pizza. Yeah. So there better be a pretty big occasion considering that fact. Who are we going to deliver this pizza to? Actually, I have an idea for that. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, what is it then? <laughs> Don't just hold me in suspense like that. <laughs> so about a week ago, we went to the Hype House where I was with my friend Alex, measuring out the house for what he thought was my yacht. But in reality, we were measuring out the house to deliver a pizza for his birthday. Because it's literally gonna take a crane to deliver a pizza this big. So this pizza party is going to be one for Alex, and two for the reopening of Sweet Pablo's. If you guys remember, I drive the world's smallest car, so we had the genius idea of delivering the world's largest pizza on the world's smallest car. The only problem was that our biggest competition, Big Mama and Papa's Pizza, had already done exactly that, so we decided to go to their headquarters to investigate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My arch nemesis. Their career is about to end, and uh, they don't even know what's coming. It's honestly sad. Hey, girl, boss. Is this the home of the world's largest pizza? Uh, how big is it? 54 by 50. 54 by 54. Just any like secret ingredients or anything I should know about? Uh, no, actually that's confidential. Got it. They're gonna be out of business in about, I give it a week. I took a lot of notes in there. I feel like we learned a lot. The main thing, it's just, it's bad. So we need to make the pizza bigger. What, like 70 inches? 69. 69? 69 by 69. Finally, we had our measurements, but we still needed a delivery vehicle. And the first guy I thought of to do this was YouTuber and science legend, William Osmond. I sent him a DM, he sent me one back, asking me to send money to a random account, and after that, I could only hope the box would be done in time. The next step was to find someone who could help us make the pizza, and after a quick Google search, I found a place called Dough. So we scheduled a meeting and met up the next day. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. We explained our idea, measured out the entire restaurant, and even made some bets. Over under bet on how many pepperonis filled the whole thing. Oh, that's good. What do you think? I so think it's going to be at least 300. If we did one pepperoni for every three square inches, it would be this. Holy shit, dude. We were conducting Einstein level equations to find out if this pizza would even fit in the oven. All this being said, do you think like there's a chance that this is possible? I think we could do this. Back to our delivery vehicle. William sent me some very polite DMs letting me know I would need to get a rack installed on my smart car. You guys open? We are, yeah. Uh, we have a smart car. I'm trying to put a rack on it. Pretty hard. Uh, what do you want to carry? A pizza box for the world's largest pizza. What's your name? Luis. Good to meet you, bro. Yeah, yeah there's really nothing we could do over here. Really? I was thinking of maybe drilling it to here, but this guy's pretty weak. Like, let's say go to a different shop and Maybe it makes this guy stronger. Maybe we could just, you know, straight to the roof right here. What if I were to get some like sheet metal, put it right here and screw that in? You see what I'm saying or not? Yeah, you could totally do that. Oh, that took about an hour. Let's go get the rack. Smallest car on planet Earth. You want to swap for the van? That's like maybe a little toy for my niece. I was here last week at the smart car. I think I talked to this guy right here, actually. But I said I would reinforce it and come back by and see what we could do. Where is it? It's right here. You got no shake anymore. You said reinforce and I said this That's is right. Yeah, if you're cool with it, it's cool with us. Okay, so, yeah, amazing. Yeah. So for the next hour, the Rack Guys installed the Rack. In the meantime, I wanted to remind you guys that we're trying to get to a million subscribers by the end of the year. We're getting close. Please help us! Yeah, Max in bad shape. We have a couple months left. We're at 630,000 subscribers. Let's just get to an even 700 by the end of this video. As you guys can see, we put a ton of time, a ton of effort into these videos, and we are trying to prove that in 2020, you can still make it as a creator on this platform. So to support the channel, to support the mission, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we will continue to make premium content. The best episodes on the platform platform every single week. Okay, back to the video. Oh, dude. <laughs>
Yeah, definitely cheaper than a crane, yeah. Next, we needed a crane. I, uh, I have another little project for you guys. Okay. We need a little crane in Hollywood Friday. Three to five ton crane, like nothing big. What, what are we doing? Basically delivering the world's largest pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Text me the address and I'll get back with you. All right, thanks, brother. Appreciate you. Bye-bye. Peace. Uh, I think we have a crane. <laughs> that night, it was time to see our pizza box for the first time. This right here is the legendary YouTuber William Osmond. Oh, thank you. That's an honor, very honorable title. So I'm I'm six three. I mean, the box is bigger than me. They fabricated an entire steel frame. One hundred percent the most expensive pizza box ever created. We just have to figure out how to mount this onto the car now. Yeah, I wouldn't go on the freeway. Just start slow <laughs> and figure out at what point weird things start happening. <laughs> if the box just leaves the car, I'm just, just gonna keep, keep driving. driving. I'm just, just gonna keep driving. driving. How much of a disaster is this? 40%. What are the chances of death? Three. <laughs> That's better than last time it was five, so. Last time it was five. And finally it was time to mount the box. This looks ridiculous. Ow. And we decorated the box and left it with William overnight yeah. for final touches. What up? Big day. This was the day. With Doe's help, we cooked the world's largest pizza and literally had to cut it into pieces to fit it out the front door. Right, I think William just pulled up with the final version of the delivery car. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. It was finished and it was beautiful. Our delivery car had reached its final form. Dude, look at the doorknob, bro. <laughs> Take the keys and then it unlocks. And now you've got your <laughs> this is too good. I still can't believe it didn't fall apart. The world's largest pizza. So that's so. Tell Alex happy birthday. Happy birthday, Alex. Slice by slice, we took the pizza from the kitchen into the box, and everything was great until we got this call. Hello, this is Keith of the Crane Company. Keith, what's up, brother? Hey, brother. I'm uh, out here waiting on you. Uh, we probably need another like hour. Hour. Uh, listen, man, I got I got 30 minutes. Busy day. Can I like pay you your hour rate or something or? Nah, but that's not gonna work. I got places to be, packed day. 30 minutes and I'm out of here. I need to be there in 30 minutes. You gotta be there in 30 minutes. Thanks, Keith. Really helpful. Nice. Oh, ow! I'm hoping we make it in time. I literally don't know if this pizza is even gonna be delivered. The pizza though, the pizza looks good. Let's uh, let's run the reveal. Okay, yeah, we don't have time for that. We need to get over there. It's locked. We're good. All right, we're out of here. The pizza place told me to drive nice and slow, but I drove very, very fast. We had a very important pizza for a very important person. We didn't have much time. The roads are so bad. Oh, no. That was so violent. The reveal. Oh, my God. He's literally lowering the crane. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What's up, boys? Yeah, I got you guys. Have you looked at it? No, I have not. You should, you should look at it. You were, take, you were taking some of those turns. <laughs> we're not going to tell any of these uh, hype house people here, but I'm worried that when we open the top of this box, the pizza's just destroyed. Final moments had come. It was time to deliver this pizza by crane directly into Alex's mouth. All right, boys. It's all come down to this moment. Pizza's about to go up. I have these keys right here for Alex to unlock his birthday pizza. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. Okay, we need to go up. Keep this listening. It's Keep working! Listening. It's working! Wow, you went in between that? When they packaged this pizza for you, they told us to go really slow. I did the exact opposite of that. <laughs> like, I didn't do that at all. Is that one of the biggest pizza? Yeah, this is the world's largest deliverable pizza. We just set a world record for your birthday. So, yeah, yeah congratulations. Hey. This is a pretty expensive pizza here. Okay. So, it's under lock and key. So, these are some keys for you. And now, this is your pizza. What's gonna happen? I mean, there's not a lot. <laughs> no, you open it. <laughs> no, no. You open it. You want to open it for you? Yes. Yes, dude, I'm gonna step back. Oh, oh, shit, what? Oh, that actually looks good. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god. Might have enough pizza for like you, yeah, well. you, you, <laughs> you. Yeah, everyone should have enough pizza, I think.
Hit the fucking subscribe button. It's really good. It's gas. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> we wish Alex his final happy birthdays, packed up our pizza, and then. Woo! Alright, pizza's delivered. They didn't eat much of the pizza, though. No, they did not. I don't want to waste pizza. I feel like we go give it away. I think that's a plan, bro. Let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. It's all you. Enjoy. World's largest pizza. There? Oh, that's for you right there, bro. <laughs> Alright, there's a the flag. Oh, hey guys, didn't expect that, did you? Listen, if you liked uh, these shirts, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news, we are dropping merch right now, so there's this along with a bunch of other samples. The bad news, we're only selling 69 of these, so you probably already missed out. But there's a bunch of other merch on the site. This is the first time in a long time we have sold it, so it will go very fast. If you want to support the channel, if any of this merch looks like something you would wear, make sure you go to the first link in the description and cop some for yourself. Okay, back to the video. All right, well, we made the world's largest pizza, delivered it to the Hype House, and gave the entire thing away. That's pretty much it. I'm leaving.